one should not be confident that uh, the profitability will be above portfolio margin for existing hero numbers as such. So hardly the move in terms of EBITDA will be uh, on a ballpark basis, it will be sub 3% ideally. Okay. Uh, for Hero, yes, the acceptance of premium bike still date has been uh, not great from the market. So it is a first time a good model from Hero's premium basket coming into the market and Hero will also be coming out with subsequent platform uh, models on the same platform. So it's wait and watch from that aspect. Uh, for Bajaj, uh, who has already in its plate brands like KTM, Huskies and Dominas, etc. So it is another uh, premium band on its uh, plate. And it's a sports bike, a high-speed sports bike, not of that cruise bike genre, which is Royal Enfield's uh, May 40. So, yeah, it will compete with the high-speed uh, sports bikes. And uh, down the line, definitely the next Scrambler Triumph, which will come during festive season, so uh, one will uh, watch out for that. Basudev, then on the other side, and the second aspect that I talked about right at the start is the implication for Royal Enfield. You mentioned that the pie itself is growing and therefore Royal Enfield's volumes to that extent are protected. But I don't think that uh, you can uh, state that they're not at all worried about the new entrants, right? As the incumbent, you want to protect market share as well. Uh, will pricing pressure kind of hurt them going forward, uh, in your opinion? Uh, I think that's what some people are fearing. And that's why the stock price has gone down. And we'll talk about valuation and stock price in, uh, after, after this answer. So frankly speaking, that is the two sides of the coin. Some people can fear, some people can think that pricing power will go down, volume will go down, margin will go down. And that's why the stock price fall is justified. And on the other side of the coin, uh, where I believe that it's just the initial knee-jerk reaction and things will fall in place in the forthcoming months, Royal Enfield also launching new models and the market by itself expanding. Mm. So uh, I won't be surprised if uh, Royal Enfield pri uh, stock price uh, recoups back this uh, loss in the forthcoming months with a splendid show in terms of volume, uh, both in domestic and export market. 